welcome back to my book corner for another story of time with me, Rockin' Ryan. Now today, I have chosen story number two this week, and it's all about poo. And this one isn't about human poo, like the last one. This one is about a dinosaur. And he didn't just poo anything, he pooped a whole planet. Are you ready? Let's turn on those listening ears. Click! Get nice and comfortable because today's story is The Dinosaur That Pooped a Planet by Tom Fletcher and Dougie Pointer of McFly. So if you're ready, let's get reading. Danny and Dinosaur liked to have fun. Some days they had lots and some days they had none. One day they were bored, they had no games to play. Danny said, Dinosaur, what shall we do today? We could mow the lawn, we could tie to the place, we could do our chores, or we could go into space. But you mustn't forget to have lunch, said their mummy. You cannot have fun without food for your tummy. So they packed a packed lunch for the science museum, where rockets were kept if you wanted to see them. There were hundreds of rockets and spaceship surprises, tall ones, and small ones of all shapes and sizes. And one that was ready to launch with a door big enough for a boy and his pet dinosaur. They ignored all the warnings they couldn't care less. They pressed all the things that they shouldn't have pressed. T minus five, four, three, two, one, ignition. They started their intergalactic space mission. They flew higher than houses and buildings and cranes, much higher than birds, even higher than planes. We're in space, Danny yelled as they floated around, but the dinosaur's tum made a rumbling sound. Is it time to have lunch? Danny looked at his watch. Then he looked all around for the dino's lunchbox. Danny started to worry, then started to panic. They'd left their packed lunches back home on their planet. Uh-oh. So with no food on board, not the smallest of crumbs, a disastrous dinosaur feast had begun. Oh my goodness me. He's got the munchies. It gobbled up gadgets and gizmos galore. Nothing was safe from the space dinosaur. Robots and ray guns and blinking red blinkers eating things thought up by NASA's great thinkers. The hyperdrive gamma reactor machine was swallowed along with the space tractor beam. Oh my goodness me, he must be very hungry. It chewed and it chomped on the spaceship controls. The rocket was dotted with dino tooth holes. Inside it was bare. The spaceship was empty. Outside... There were more things to eat. Well, there was plenty. It broke down the door with a cool ninja chop. Out in space, dinosaurs are much harder to stop. It chomped on the moon like a big chunk of cheese, then shoved even more in its mouth with a squeeze. It munched on the Martians from Mars and their cats. Their cats are like ours, but their cats wear cool hats. Satellites, Saturn and six supernovas, shape-shifting saucers and seven space rovers. Oh my goodness me, his belly's going to get very big. It guzzled five gallons of fuel from the tank and Danny's jaw dropped as he watched what it drank. With a crunch and a crack and a nom 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 in one dino gulp, their rocket was gone. Now nothing was left. All Danny could see was a fat dinosaur where the rocket should be. And so they were stranded with no way back home. Just Danny and Dino in space, all alone. How are they going to get back? Will they be lost in space forever? Now Danny was crying. He cried and he cried. He cried and the tears filled his spacesuit inside. Unless they were going to stay there forever, 
the dinosaur needed to do something clever. With the feeling of guilt deep down in its gut, its brain brewed up a plan involving its butt. It knew there was only one thing it could do. To get them back home, it needed to... You've guessed it. Poo. Uh-oh. This is going to be disgusting. Ugh. Like a poop-powered rocket, the dinosaur flew. Dan hopped on its back and he watched as it pooed. It pooped up the robots and ray guns and blinkers. The things NASA's thinkers thought up were now stinkers. It pooped up the moon. It pooped up the stars. It pooped up the space rovers and Martians from Mars. Look at all that poop. Gross. When Danny looked back, he could see a poop trail from far out in space to the dinosaur's tail. They headed for Earth and they started to orbit. It pooped out the clouds, but the clouds just absorbed it. They flew past the buildings and streets of their town, leaving the houses all smelly and brown, and finally landed back down on the ground. Hooray! cried Danny. We are home, safe and sound. They looked to the sky, and the things that were pooed had formed a poop planet right next to the moon. And so Danny promised to listen to Mummy, because fun is not fun without food in your tummy. And look, if you look right up there next to the moon, there was a great big planet made of poo. And just when you thought all the pooping was done, a Mars cat plopped out of the dinosaurs bum the end Whew. that was a little bit disgusting i wonder if any of you saw on youtube yesterday those astronauts going into space wasn't it good flying all the way up counting down and taking off and if some of you were looking really closely you may have seen them in the sky but one thing i bet you didn't see was a poop planet but maybe while well, those astronauts up in space they might just see a space dinosaur and if they're really really unlucky they might just see a poop planet as well how very very disgusting and with that i think after another sunny day it's time for another snooze can you believe that was story number 67 out of 70 so we have got just three more days to go in my book corner and then my book corner is going to be closed for a little while as i'll be looking after all the boys and girls who are returning back to nursery so if you're waking up tomorrow and going back to school or nursery after such a long time i hope you have the best time seeing all of your teachers and all of your friends and if you're coming back to my nursery then i will see you very very soon but for now let's close our eyes nice and tight no snoring and i will see you back here tomorrow for another story in my book corner with me rocking ryan but for now bye bye